G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the Olight Array 2. Let's check it out. All right, so inside the box, you're gonna get your Array 2 user manual. You will get your USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and that will go into this USB-C port right here. So nice and deep, very well protected by this rubber latch. And you're also gonna get these two extra clips, which just help secure the, uh, the headband if you need to tighten it or secure it away from or along the cord. And there's the back of the box there, guys, just in case you want to pause and have a read. Some people do, some people don't. All right, so let's get into it. Here it is here, a bit tangled up. So the Array 2. Now you've got your spot and your flood, and it's a nice little uh, light here. So it's very easy to uh, put on your on your head as a, as a headlamp, obviously. You can turn it all the way down if you're looking down. Uh, you cannot turn it up though, so it just, it angles down, that's it. But it angles anywhere from, you know, looking directly straight ahead to looking down, oh, I don't know, about 70 degrees or so. You've got your button at the top here and your cord that reaches all the way to the battery pack at the back there. There it is. Now, this is a 1600 milliamp, 3.6 volt battery, and the elastic on this light is very, very uh, good quality. Feels very, very strong, very good, and of course, uh, you can tighten it and loosen it as you wish, just with these little bits here. Now, let's go ahead and weigh this light, or best we can. So, Olight says that this weighs 109 grams, so let's see if they are right. How's that? 108.75 grams. So it really is a good weight for a headlamp. It really, really is. Now, if I just give this a good shot at tightening it a little bit. So if I was to wear this, I've tried this on and it's a bit loose. So if I was to wear this, I would pull that in a bit like that and then pull this straight. And then that should be tighter. So I might come around and show. Yeah, so that's probably how I'd have it, like that. So press on, press and hold to cycle, and then press to go off. Press again, comes back on in the last known output. So if we just go to the lower, so that is your low mode, then press and hold to get to your medium mode, press and hold to get to your high mode, and then press to turn off press the turn back on, comes on in your last known output, and triple click, one, two, three, and you're gonna get SOS, really nice to see. And then one click to turn it back to your last output, and then one click, off. Now, if you do wanna uh, tilt it down, simply just tilt it, very easy. And then push it, come back up. So really, really comfortable light. Battery pack at the back there, no drums at all. I honestly barely feel like anything's on me. I can feel a little bit here that like something's on my forehead, but I barely feel like anything's on me. I could hold a conversation, sit on a fishing chair for hours on end with this thing. Um, feels really, really good. And you know, I think 600 lumen max, which I'll go over, is um, really a great max for, for a light like this. Not too bright, but at nighttime, 600 lumens is plenty. All right, so going over the UI, so from off, if I press and hold, it's gonna come on and then lock out. Now, if you try to turn the light on in lockout, it will just flash, letting you know that it's locked out. If you wanna unlock it, press and hold, unlocked. So from off, push once, and it'll come on in your last known output. And then if you wanna turn it off, simply one click. So turn it on, and to cycle, you just press and hold. So that's medium, high, low. Okay, so let's, let's start in low. So low, is a hundred lumens, and you will get that for eight hours and 30 minutes, continuous. Now, press and hold, that's medium. Now, medium is 250 lumens, which you'll get for four hours and 30 minutes. Press and hold, that's high. High is 600 lumens, which you'll get for three hours, continuous. And in high, it will reach 100 meters, and it's pushed out by 2,700 candela. 
Now, this also has a hidden special mode. One, two, three is SOS. Now, Olight does not specify how long SOS will run for, uh, but if you, it is at the 600 lumen output, and all you need to do to get out of SOS is single click, and it goes back to your last output. Now, if I decide to get to SOS from off, one, two, three, SOS, single click, turns back off. So single clicking after SOS will take you straight back to wherever you were prior to uh, initiating SOS. Now, this light is IPX4 rated, so I think that means it can withstand heavy, heavy rain, but I probably wouldn't completely submerge it in water. And it is a, it does have a one meter impact resistance. Now, this light does have memory mode, guys, so it will always... Uh, turn on in the last known output. And if I just click it onto, let's say, low, turn off, turn back on, and then high, oop, high, turn off, turn back on, high. So the only thing that is not memorized is SOS. You do need to triple click. All right, let's give you a bit of a beam shot there from uh, high, low, and medium, get it back to high. So it is It is a spot and flood uh, light there. So that centralized hotspot is obviously from the spot and then the circular area around it is from the flood. Work really well together at nighttime. And let's cut to some night shots now, guys, and uh, be back for some final thoughts on the Olight Array 2. See you in a sec. Here we have the Olight Array 2, and that is on low. Low is very, very decent. Imagine yourself up in a roof, even on low, that's gonna illuminate a whole lot of space. And then cycling up there, have medium spot and flood. Thank you very much. And let's leave it on that tree there and cycle up. Yeah, nice. That's good, man. So if I just do a cycle here, we'll go low, medium, high. And then triple click, SOS, baby. So if you take this out camping, you will get saved with that SOS function. Very nice. Very, very nice. Perfect for fishing, not too much at all. Maximum 600 lumens, SOS, low, medium and high. What more could you want? All right, guys, let's head on back. All right, so spot and flood work really, really well together with this light. Um, the high mode of 600 lumens is plenty, in my opinion. And uh, you can pick this light up from lightshop.com.au, coming in at around about 85 bucks, I think. Uh, so head over there, guys. I will leave a link directing you straight to it. And I will also give you uh, any relevant discount codes as well. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. That's it for me today. Uh, until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.